There's this story that came out about the brother's spoken reasons. If you know that brother, he's been on YouTube for a very long time. He was also in that movie, uh, the heat with Sandra Bullock. Um, and, uh, what's her name? Um, Melissa McCarthy. There you go. Her name has slipped my mind. And you know, he had a role in that and, and he was doing comedy and all kinds of things that he was doing. And remember the guy, Emmanuel Hudson, he's the one that had that song, you know, she's so ratchet where he's dressing up like women and all that, which that wouldn't fly today. Him doing that. She's so ratchet thing. Because recently I saw uh, him and his brother, uh, Philip Hudson on the uh, old clip of America's got talent. They did that mess and I was watching them and I was sitting up there watching them doing that. She's so ratchet. And I'm looking at like, Oh my God. I was like, this is some clown ish. What black men are doing. Man, I'm like, take the way people are laughing at that back in, the, in that time period, but they did. But this was before everyone's awakening because if they tried to pull that now, oh no, none of us would even uh, laugh at that. But I'm bringing them two up because Emmanuel Hudson and Spoken Reasons done a video together. Okay. It was called Asking All Those Questions. Now, recently, and I can't play the clip because it's a, you know, TV thing. What went viral was Emmanuel Hudson went on uh, Wild and Out, and Spoken Reasons was there too. And they do that wild style where they do like a freestyle, you know, battling each other. And Emmanuel Hudson had brought up uh, what happened after they made that video, asking all those questions because that, was, that video had basically went viral. And Emmanuel Hudson felt that Spoken Reasons cheated him out of money with that video. Okay. Now that's about the gist of it. Then I started hearing him in the, uh, you know, freestyle talking about how he went on to do comedy and, and how he got into movies and all the other things for me, hearing him say that sound like he was salty that spoken reasons went to certain places that he didn't even go to yet, but that's that. But I want to, you know, talk about this because it is, it's a lot of things that spoken reasons didn't have to do for him at all. But there was this one video clip I want to show before I start talking about why I am on the side of spoken reasons with the whole situation. Uh, just thinking about it on the area of business, but let's play this clip of spoken reasons. Now he went on a Kev on stage. They had a uh, interview, but let's play this short clip and then I'm a bill from there. People have feel the same way. They want to know about this too. You and Emmanuel Hudson did that song that, that the uh, asking all them questions. Uh, that well, was the, that was the person that was on that song. Well, he did you. the song. Right. He, did, I, I, he was in Atlanta. Uh -huh. uh, I, I hit him up, you know, got in contact with his family or whatever, you know, uh, chopped it up. I flew him to Orlando. We I put him in the studio the next day. I put him in the Marriott. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, we did the video the next day on a one take. We shot that video from like, I don't know, it was from like 12 to 5 o'clock. We, we shot it like that a whole quick. one. It was a whole one take with the camera and, and the dashboard. Mm -hmm. And what? the last take was the best, was, was the one that, that made the cut. Oh, snap. And I edited the video, whatever, but I didn't, I wasn't a part of the song. I was a part of the song, but right, so, he did the song. Because I guess what a lot of people want to know is how come you guys, since that song was such a big success, how come you guys never collaborated more after <laughs> that? Because I know as a fan, I wanted to see more stuff. I'm like, oh, these two dudes is fire, but I've never seen you guys collab again. I mean, I, I don't, I mean, every time when I collab with people, I mean, sometimes it's, it's almost like a job. It's like, I mean, I wouldn't say, you know, it's like a job. I'm not going to always call on you and stuff like okay. that. Of course, you run into your indifferences and stuff like that. But I mean, that's just a part of life. Okay. So that's it. Well, another urban legend that I wanted to ask, this is something that I've heard about in the streets. Now, I have no way to confirm this, so I'm All just right. going to ask you straight up. Let's go. Urban legend on the streets is All that right. when you got that song with Emmanuel Hudson All right. and you put it out, mm -hmm. that he wasn't compensated at all. Okay. And for that, and for his time and his trouble, and then it blew up, and he was just never given anything from that. Is there any truth to that? No, nah, that's not true because uh, the song is registered on BMI. Okay. And he owns the majority of the song. Okay. I only own like twenty percent of that song. Okay. Oh, y'all did paperwork? Yeah, BMI. Oh, so 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 you know people at the time people look at Addison, mm -hmm. and it was on my channel. Yeah. Where the problems came in was I uploaded the video first. To your channel on my channel and so whatever and money came from that from millions of views yeah, 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 he yeah. didn't see any of that no nah, because that's i mean your platform. It, it was it was all new it was new at the time like we we, we just not doing this like 
I've never flown nobody to me and mm -hmm. it was just all new. So that, that, that taught me a lot of lessons because that's when I started doing paperwork. Um, all right. So you heard what spoken reasons had to say now spoken reasons said that he flew him mean spent his money from Atlanta to Orlando. He didn't put him in the motel six. He put him at the Marriott. Okay. So he treated the brother right from there. They end up, he paid for studio time because nothing's free with that. They did the song. Now, Emmanuel Hudson say it's his song. Okay. But you didn't pay for studio time. You didn't pay for flight. Didn't pay for hotel at the time. Then spoken reason said they went to shoot the video. They said it took about what, a few hours, five hours, etc. After him shooting the video, then he had to edit it, which editing is a cost. Okay. So spoken reasons did that and spoken reasons had to pay for him to go back to Atlanta. So spoken reasons was already financially invested into that one video. And Emmanuel Hudson never came out and say he broke any bread out there other than the song that basically spoken reasons paid for the studio time to create. Then if Emmanuel Hudson was so concerned about his song uh, that why didn't he do any kind of paperwork with spoken reasons before that video was filmed? The paperwork is supposed to say, Hey, this is my song. Um, you know, but I'm doing it on this video. We're going to talk about the split with the, uh, money. If anything comes, et cetera. Right. He didn't think about any of that. Now later, I think two years later, spoken reason to say he went to, you heard him say he put it on BMI, which is one of the music management things. And he ended up giving, um, Emmanuel Hudson, the majority of it because he said it was his song. Okay. I feel that's the right thing, but he should get a portion of it because he paid for studio time. He paid for everything in the beginning. Now I want to put something up because if you listen, if you listen to that whole rant, that's basically what he was doing ranting on wild style. Now spoken reasons. And we put this up. Look at this spoken reasons. Put that video up on January 21st, 2012. It got 66 million views. Now on the next screen, if you look at this is Emmanuel and Philip Hudson's page. January 22nd, it got 26 million views. Okay. So one day later, if you listen to him and the way he presented that and wild style, you would think the video was up for a hot minute. And then he finally put the video up later and he missed out on a whole bunch of money. So you mean to tell me you put the video up one day later, one day later, you got 26 million views. See, this is, this is why. It makes it hard to work with black folks sometimes. Let me tell you why foresight. Okay. All you see is today. You don't see down the line. You don't see opportunities. All you're looking at is you, what you were doing. It was counting his money or that he was getting off this video. You, his whole thing is the video blew up on his page. Dude, the video got 26 million views on your page. You made money off that video, bro. He made more, but you made money off that video. But see, he wasn't thinking at the time period, spoken reasons page was a lot bigger than his. That's why he went to spoken reasons with it. Because if his page was where it was at now, he wouldn't have went to spoken reasons by anything. He'd have put it on his page. He wasn't thinking obviously. And I know he was thinking, Hey, if I go on this other YouTuber, you got a bigger page than mine, then maybe I can get some residual and you got the residual. That's why you got 26 million off your page. That's how people find out who you are. You know what I'm saying? So what are you mad for? You created other things that actually had more views than this video. Why are you mad? I don't, I don't understand that the brother basically helped put you on and you took advantage of that audience that he had to bring people where you were at and you capitalized off of that. See people don't understand. Sometimes it's not always about the money and sometime in business, you got to let somebody else eat sometime. I've done it. I've done things where I've had to let somebody else eat off of me. I don't care about that. I'm looking at the bigger picture. Sometimes your audience is the money I need. I don't need cash money for everything that I do. Your audience is enough for me. I'm going to try to present something to your audience where they can come back this way. And if I don't do nothing good enough for them to come back this way, then that's on me. But that's a gamble that you take. And it was no guarantee that that video was going to blow up like that. 
nobody on YouTube knows your video going to blow up like this. Nobody. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put this video up and this video will get 10 million views. Nobody knows that. One of my biggest videos on my news channels what 10 million views. When I posted that video, I didn't know that was going to happen. I've seen videos go to a million views on my page overnight. Didn't know that was going to happen. Spoken reasons did not know it just happened that way. That's the nature of the internet. Things go viral and, and that's it. A celebrity can retweet it or whatever. And something could just take off. But Emmanuel, instead of saying, you know what spoken reasons, bro, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. You know, that's, you know, believing in the brother that's working together. And, you know, I took advantage at that time period. And, you know, I've got more money down the line than that even video, but he was salty that he didn't get the movie deal. He was salty that he didn't get the recognition that spoken reasons got. That's what it got to in his, you know, wild style thing that people are not paying attention to. See, I know brothers. I know how brothers did that ego that we have as black men, especially toward each other. Instead of being happy in his lane, he was mad that he didn't get to what spoken reasons got to it. And this is why you heard spoken reasons say, this is why I do paperwork for everything because you're going to run into that issue and problem. If you don't do paperwork, I had to learn that too. You got to do paperwork. You think, oh, well, I want to do this and that and the third, but you know, when money start getting involved, it changes things. Now, when you want to just do it on the strength, it, you know what I'm saying? That's why they always say money changes the world. It, it do. So you do, you do your paperwork, whatever you're going to work with a person, you set up what each people going to get or whatever, right? You make that negotiation, whether you like the deal or not, just to make a negotiation. If you don't like it, walk away from it. If you want something to continue working with this person, you make, you know, whatever deal you guys come to an agreement and you, you go out there and hash that out and do that. You get what I'm saying? But I think that brothers or sisters should be able to work together. I don't think money should be keeping people away from each other. But if somebody came to me right now and said, they say they had us page 10 million subscribers and say, Hey man, you want to post a video here? You know, and, and, and let's say that I post a video over there, blow up to 20 million, uh, views, right? I'm not going to be trying to count them pockets over there on that channel and say, man, I missed out all that money, man. I'm looking at, that's a lot of traffic coming to my page. So I was, I must've done something right at that page. So, and then I know they're going to come looking for me at that point. So that's what I want. I want that traffic coming here, but Emmanuel Hudson didn't think that way. So he's thinking, oh, you got more money than me, man. Somebody always gonna get more money than you for something. And let's call that what it is. If, if MTV would have got that song from him, right. And they would have paid him what they thought he should have got at that time period. And that video would have blew up on MTV and it would have got all kinds of views on MTV and, and, and making money. And let's say they made $30 million off his song. He wouldn't, he couldn't have told MTV anything, not a thing. At least spoken reason was like, look, I want to do this BMI and give him the majority because let's think about it in capitalism. He didn't have to do that. He said, man, I pay for you to fly out here. I pay for the studio time. I pay for the filming. I pay for the editing, probably pay for your meals. And I flew you back. Record labels do that all the time. They give you an advance, but it's not what they're going to make off of you. You understand? So like I said, now nah, I'm on spoken reason side with this one, man. Spoken reasons. Look, bro, if you see the video, you did nothing wrong, brother. You did nothing wrong. You learn from that. You say you're going to do pay. You did paperwork in the future. I know why you did it. You did nothing wrong. Emmanuel Hudson, if anything, he didn't take care of good business because he, the one should have had tried to get something written down where they could talk about, you know, money aspect. But when people don't look at, I'm going to do something on this page or I'm going to do something here because down the line, I'm going to benefit even bigger by being on a bigger platform. See, he didn't think that way. He's still salty about some money that's probably come and gone. And I did, I did a little calculation of what both of them made just based off of what I know about YouTube and spoken reasons estimated probably made about close to $400,000 of that video within eight years. And then, um, Emmanuel Hudson made by a uh, total close to $200,000. So why are you complaining? If you made close to $200,000. Oh, because he made more. I mean, God, I can't stand when people try to count your pockets. I hate that. My thing is this, this is why a lot of times when brothers don't make it, they don't want to work with other people, especially other brothers in the community. Because when one thinks that he should get a certain amount 
and he didn't because he didn't take care of business. He didn't take care of paperwork. Or he didn't even have a conversation with brother. He just want to, you know, start But he made other videos that made money. That's what I don't understand. I understand that's the only video. And then he just crashed and burned. The dude made other videos in the millions. Like I don't understand why you're salty about spoken reasons. And you had other things. They got more views than that video on his page. But I believe it goes right back to this. It goes back to he mad that he did not get the movie deal. That's what I believe it is. But let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think spoken reason was right? Or you think Emmanuel Hudson is right? Or are you just kind of middle with the both of them? Let me know what you think.